One second, I'm focusing. Okay, I am now focused. We're recording. Hello, who are you? My name is Brenda Wong from the Harvard School. Great. And what is this? Uh, this is a both a spectrometer and a zeroal spectrometer. Oh, interesting. And what does it do? Um, it measures the sp it measures the spectrograph. It takes a spectrograph of different kinds of liquids. Here are the samples. The light that will shine through a slit, and then there will be a grating inside. In this case, a CD disk that will record its findings to the computer. Great. And if we want to test the sample, mm -hmm. take one for instance. This is a uh, oil, the polluted mineral oil. We can. So, so when you put it here, I'm looking at the screen at the same time, yeah? So that's that's the spectrometer of all yeah, the... Yeah, it leaves out almost all the colors and absorbs mostly the red color. Yeah. Uh, okay, no, it absorbs everything but the red, you mean? Yes. I see. And you're saying that it's also a fluoro spectrometer? So what do you mean by fluoro spectrometer? Uh, it means that we well, can detect actually, And what is this button as well? Oh, what can you do? this uh, adjusts the brightness and intensity of the bulb. So you can adjust the, you, and you can change the bulb if I understand. You have different yeah, bulbs. Yes. So this is a, okay. So you can actually change the bulb and change, turn it off and, off. and change intensity. Oh, that's wonderful. And for now, we're gonna turn it off from the spectrometer. We're gonna see if the bulb fluoresces. So we're gonna use a 405 nanometer uh, purple laser uh -huh. to identify. Yep. So, so we're gonna use olive oil for this mm -hmm. test. Turn it on. We get nothing on the screen because it doesn't really fluoresce. So there's nothing that fluoresces. No. Any olive oil. No, it doesn't. No. But it's, so so this is normal. Yes, this is normal. Okay, that's that's great. Okay, so uh, now you've explained what is a spectrometer and a fluorospectrometer, mm -hmm. and you build this device yourself with the with the class with your comrades. What's next? Uh, we're going to ship this in Bangladesh and for the people at the school over there are going to use this to test out the different waters. They will upload their findings onto a website called Public Labs. They will have a lot of different spectrums there about different kinds of oils, different kinds of liquids, acids, gases, different kinds of balls, etc. That's great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And maybe last image. I put the spectrum back. So I put it back, that's the spectrum from the Hong Kong Harbor School.